the time for package from China, but not normal package. It's the Pow Kitty E9. Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in here at the Wicked Gamer and Collector. We do a lot of wicked stuff from China and we're going to make some wicked reviews, but don't forget it would be great to have you here in the Wicked family, so consider subscribing, hit the little bell. So, what we're going to talk about is the Pau Kitty A9. I got this thing from China, I already mentioned that's the reason why I'm saying a package from China. And I just wanted to talk about what are we going to get with this mini arcade machine. Is this thing worth the money? Is it quite powerful? Or is it just shitty like a lot of stuff? So there's something we're going to figure out. We're going to open it up and we're going to... Doing a little unboxing. Let's go, let's go. What the heck? All right, so what we can see, we're having the toilet paper manual. And the reason why I'm calling it this is simply because it's so pretty poor. Look at this. It's made of glossy paper this time, but it's so basic. And I must say again, this one is pretty glossy and a little bit better quality. We're having the cable for charging. It's a type C. It comes with an and memory cards, all right. We're having the basic controllers that come with most of these things. So let's do a little bit of unwrapping because I need to show you the controller. I can't get the stupid plastic off. Just wanted to show you the controller itself and as you can see, it's just a USB controller. Pretty basic. And for fighting games and all the retro games, it's more than enough. But if you don't want to play PlayStation, you don't have the shoulder button. So, pretty pointless. Here we have the system itself. So it's packed up very well, by the way. Alright, so let's see what we're going to get with this POW KITTY. Alright, so what are we going to get with the device? So let's talk about the control panel first. Because of fun fact, there are quite some differences. So this version, because I already did some versions or arcade machines in the past, what I did notice that it got the wicked wiggle stick like always, it's basically just a joystick, unlock stick. Here we have six buttons like the controller, but they're just the normal membrane buttons. Some have these, let's say, arcade feeling buttons. So in here at the top you can see we're having select, start, volume control, and I'm guessing this is the menu back button. At the back we're finding the two USB connections for connecting the controller. But keep in mind, if you want to use a controller, there is not, it is not compatible with every controller, like for example, on PlayStation 3, 4, Xbox controller. We're having here the HDMI mini out, AV out, TF card, the Type-C for charging and the on and off switch. Right here we have a very tiny speaker. I'm very curious how this thing is going to sound because there is quite some differences with between the models. All right, so but first let's power on the system. It's a seven inch LCD screen. It is not an EPS. As you can see when moving it around, you can see the view angle is decent. But yeah, that's what we're going to get with these mini arcades. So, fun fact, when you're not entering the SD card, it seems to be that I'm just going to get the basic menu. I did see this before. Everything is in Chinese or even an Asian language. I'm just assuming it's in Chinese. But when you go into the controller, there is nothing here. So this means we need to use the SD card that came with it. Ooh, seems to be this is a very naughty card. Let's see what's on it. All right, so let's open it up. Alright, now I need to put the card out. Oh, it's just falling out. Okay, cool. Alright, so they are just giving you this, this... What is this? It's not even a brand. What the heck? Let's put it in and let's see what happens. Right, first we're going to turn it off. I'm guessing it needs to put in like this. No. So also the question, how do I need to put in a stupid card? Alright, let's turn it on. Alright, pow kitty time. Pow, 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 pow kitty. Let's see what happens. All right, we're still getting the same menu. Well, let's see what we're having here. Ooh, now we're having a list. So this is very interesting. If you look at the previous models I've reviewed, and um, with the previous model, you're always getting, let's say, a new complete menu. And when you're pulling out the card, basically, 
the, what they're doing is getting giving you the original software because this thing is running on some kind of Android. So as you can see, this is the support. We're having CPS, FBA, Famicom, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Gear, Mass System are on the same list. Mega Drive, Neo Geo, Otters, all right. PlayStation and Super Famicom. What is Otters? Let's see. Oh, great. Just all the files are in just China, an Asian language. Oh, man. Nevertheless, um, I'm done with talking. Let's play some games. So I just the volume giving you this little icon over here. So let's put it on number seven. Whoa, okay, that is pretty loud. All right, let's go. Let's see how this thing plays. Oh, and I just wanted to say there is no way of asking the system to put an original aspect ratio. They left it out. When pressing the little button, going back to menu, with the other version, we are getting the options to choose, let's say, aspect ratio, quick load, quick save. There is no quick load, quick save in this device. So basically, they freaking messed it up. So, if it comes to your arcade, it runs very nice. I must say, if you look at the LCD screen, this is not good. As you can see over here. The LCD screen, the display, it looks nice, but sometimes you can see the little white line. Beefcake! Yes, I come here to beat you up. I will teach you a lesson. Beefcake! Beefcake man, they're gonna blow you up. Punch you in the face, because I really can, man. We're gonna blow up. Oh, Rolling Thunder. Need to go down. No, I'm dead. I must say, there is a slight dead zone, a small dead zone in the joystick, but it's not bad at all if you play games like this. I must say it runs like a charm. Oh, the draw doesn't work. Need to put it in a different does it not work? No, it doesn't work at all. Oh, what the hell is going on? Reset this thing. So I rebooted it and put it in a different port, but it doesn't do anything. So I don't know what the hell is going on, but... Broken controller? Maybe, but no. Crap. Let's go.
I don't know what is going on with this because I can't get any controllers to work in the game. I always have the feeling that I got a stupid delay in my buttons. Or they're just not that responsive. No, I need to press them very hard if they're going to get if they're going to get working. The analog stick is pretty fine. Yeah, come on! Alright, when you're plugging in the device in your television, you can see the display goes off. So that's something you need to consider. Alright, I'm not going to use the controller simply because it doesn't work. Let's try some games on the big screen now. So, let's see. Looks very nice on the big screen. I'm just going to play it on the device itself because I can't get the controls to work. And again, it doesn't play very awful with the joystick. I am the samurai with the blade. Come on, I chop you to pieces. Give me two swords. No, not two swords today. Is it the two sword version? Yes. Slice and dice. Let's go. Slice and dice. Now go away. No, I don't want the green dog. I want the dual blade. Yes. Power up. Ooh. Slice and dice with some power up, people. So the first thing I did notice that the intro runs like shit. I see some frame drops, that's not good. Alright, let's boot up. Alright, still playing with the console because the stupid controller doesn't work. Looks pretty cool. No, 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 no! Damn this! Oh, playing with the joystick is a nightmare. Oh, and we have this huge dead zone now. Why didn't you die? Oh, whatever, I can just kill myself. Ah! I can't even do the freaking bison move. It's so bad. Come on! Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh, by the way, this is one weird modified version to call it Street Fighter 5 or something like that. For example, he can do basically two barrel rolls at the same time. What the hell? GG <laughs> computer! Alright, so this is what you're going to get with the Pow Kitty. I must say, I like the model or how it looks, but that's the only thing it is. Because if you look at everything, oh, they even got this little thumb there, even mentioned, but that is 
something I think you will not like simply because if you accidentally move the file, your short link will go dead and there's no way to do with replacing it. But nevertheless, you can watch some movies and all the other stuff. But first of all, I had some quality issues because you did notice the white line in the screen itself. The analog stick is pretty horrible like the previous models. It is usable for some games, but at the end, if you want to play and you want to have a good experience, it's not a very good thing. With the going back button, they removed the simply the, the removed the menu where you can quick load, quick save, and you cannot even change the controls or whatsoever. So that's something that is very horrible. And the controller, I don't know what's going on, but I can use it in the menu. But when even tr I tried it with different emulators, but none of them recognize the controllers and one of these ports. And the way the freaking original controller came with it. So basically they messed it up big time in many ways. So this is what you're going to get. I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit a little bell. Would be awesome to have you in the Wicked family. And uh, to be honest, yeah, I'm not going to say what you need to do, but I think it's very clear what I think of this product.